hello friends today i would like to share one one of my experience with the high memory utilization for sql servers most of them think, think that like uh, whenever uh, hard dbms are more hungry for memory and we set the maximum uh, memory limit and it will go to the up stage okay so this is very common but the one thing what we don't regularly check for sql servers or memory utilization is current logged users as of now like uh, like whenever whoever logged into the sql server it will occupy some space in the memory that is the first thing so as a dba what i used to do uh, like in my shift i will log in i will just disconnect it i i just don't sign out or i do anything once my job i log in to the sql jump server from jump server i will take the rdp once my job is done i will just said instead of going here and write the uh, like i will just turn terminate the rdp session so this will leads to go to task manager current to see see here uh, like uh, one two users are logging in, in the currently in the sql server one is like this user has been disconnected this user has been connected see uh, still this user is not active and disconnected so it is occupying 0.1 percent cpu which is very minimal you can ignore that disk utilization is zero uh, network mbs zero but if you see here 500 mb space has been occupied by this user so one thing especially for sql server dbas we need to pass or we need to take our sql servers uh, like with not going to the uh, like uh, memory utilization okay so currently one user is occupying 500 mb what about other 10 users so it will go like that right so it's our as its sql server database administrator it is responsibility to frequently monitors who are the users that are being logged in and disconnected and not yet signed out so we need to uh, track those users and we need to inform that and we need to make sure that they are disconnected and free our sql server memory sorry seek, uh, make sure that that sufficient memory is available to uh, our sql servers okay we should not go to that stage okay that's the one thing now this is the file list okay for example i will uh, go to the jump server and i will place the list okay now servers server yeah server list here so currently i am doing in the my laptop i have not done test environment or anything in servers okay that you once you tested in your server in one let me know the output okay so currently i am using the lenovo this is the current com computer name if you see the command prompt host name lenovo right so currently how many users are there as per task manager currently how many users are logged in in that okay currently two users one is lenovo one is aparna okay and if you see here currently lenovo if you have any mini servers you just had like that you just had one line one by one okay i'm just adding same server for two times okay and so what happened right uh, i have just mentioned so if you come here so here you have to mention all the dbs sql servers okay so if i am declaring variable i am taking into server okay just execute okay and it will uh, okay so same thing just what you need to do is you just change the path here itself the, apart from that you don't need to any, do anything okay and forever uh, like uh, if you have this folder that you have to change here and here that's it no need to do any coding or any modify just execute that it is done now it is saying that output file was created in scissors test folder go to this folder and see is that you can know when the user has this output file has been taken you just come here and discuss see in the lenovo lenovo user lenovo aparna and this lenovo user has been active from last 20 minutes okay and maybe he logged in at any time but 20 minutes after uh, means uh, he has been active this is not the active user so we cannot say that active users cannot be local we this can be ignored so if i see this aparna user right it has she, she has been disconnected from last 75 minutes so 
we need to drop an email see that so and so server she has been disconnected not active make sure that any work is left behind and make sure that she has disconnected so every day or every week you have to configure in the task scheduler or you can configure this in sql server agent okay and so that's how you need to track and make sure that so if i make sure this user has been disconnected so 474 mb will be get free for our for the system so this is the main thing that you need to uh, it's a dba sql server dba responsibility okay so i hope uh, you may like this video i'm going to give the scripts in the comment box you just had deployed and tested and let me know your feedback is the most welcome thing for me thank you bye